something mind blowing came to me the other night, so I thought I'd do a video on it. <laughs> that was a couple of nights ago, and now I've I've forgotten what the mind blowing part was. But it was about what I'm about to show today. So it's been a couple of days. It's I've lost a bit of the information, so I'll just go through it with you and try and pick it up on the way, hopefully. But I think it's uh, it's regarding the magnetic fields of a, a ring magnet and how it's associated with Earth and the same thing that's happening on in the uh, black hole that's created our realm. It's just all the same. It's just slightly different. So let's slowly work our way through it. You need to think a little bit, so it's about um, EMF, magnetic fields, capacitors, and the, uh, the future and free energy and perpetual motion, just working off the, the flat earth design. Well, you won't get it if you think you live on a spinning ball, nothing relates, but I've just been watching some science. Uh, YouTube videos, whatever they call them, and uh, they are really spelling this out. They're going right down to the nitty gritty now, and it, it, it just correlates with all the flat earth model, but they keep referring it back to the spinning ball. The only difference is this is stationary, and they're flipping things and moving millions of miles an hour. He had one thing moving at 1.4 million miles an hour. So you've got all these flipping astronomical, absolutely ridiculous speeds of everything going here and there to make their thing work, their model work. But this model, everything's stationary. It's just the magnetic fields that are moving. And we, you can't debunk it. It's right here in our hands with capacitors and magnetic fields. A moving magnetic field will create an EMF, an induced magnetic field. This we get all our electrical equipment these days, microwaves, everything, washing machines, everything. All runs on the copper coils to induce, get, get an EMF, boost the, you know, reduce the power intake and boost the power, boost the power intake basically, amplify it. So. <clears throat> Here we go, let's just go through all this. I haven't even got a stick. Okay. <sighs> let's first start with Earth's creation. Like this. Basically, the Big Bang, everything came from a bang, we have to accept the bang. Because we're held to the sun create. It's the sun is a voltage, it's a bang. Bang. And it just went like this, bang. And we know in explosions we get a, a vortex. We get the light, the spark, the fire, the, you know, and you get the electromagnetic sphere. So basically that's what an atom is. It's, um, the things aren't flowing so well until you get that spark going inside an atom, until you give it the light. And this is what Earth is all about. It's got the light, it's got the sun, it's got the voltage to get everything moving. You can't live on a spinning ball with the north and the south because that'll just, they come together and cancel everything out. So there's no existence in between north and south on a ball, spinning ball B, BS. There has to be two opposing forces with the opposite in here. So they're racing to the opposite all the time. That's what circulates the whole magnetic field of Earth. So it's basically like that. So we, Earth, the spark, the, the explosion, the light and the blast is the sun. The electromagnetic sphere is is the magnetic field that we are actually in on, and you've got the vortex is the black hole basically that creates us. So we've we've come from this black hole, just like an explosion, and that's our realm. So we've come out of there. So that's creation, but now it's an amplified version into our physical world. So we have been blasted out. The same, the same, you know, this is this is right back in the centre part of the donut, like a donut, the non-physical part, you don't see in the centre. And then we're all of a sudden 
created in this magnetic field in that same design but this is now out inside the donut so imagine you've got rings all the way around all the way right around it within the donut you've got a circle a full circle all the way around that way and but our realm is also a flat plane circle like this we all have our own flat plane circle it's like our arc of horizon and you see the circle comes to a point comes to the tip here which is the north this is the arctic and it curves and meets at the antarctic it's all relative to you it's what um oh what they call it i had it written down didn't bring my phone in uh the event horizon the original event horizon that's what it's all about they knew all this sort of stuff the design of earth flatten that the event horizon and uh and wanting to associate it with relativity so that's your that event horizon not being relative to you you know that's that's you and this is how um this crazy stuff of the the flat earth comes into our south being so much bigger we've got these circles around here we're all in our own circle it all comes to this point that's why they get this ball idea and fold everything back under you've got a circle here it meets up here a circle here it meets down here doesn't it and this is this comes into uh, nautical navigation too it works it's all proven with nautical navigation the flat earth and how science talks about the rays of light coming straight and directed straight into earth which is pure garbage it just it's just us we are all the center of mass we are the center of the universe every individual as an arc of horizon is at the center of the universe because we've all come from the black hole the center so everything is seen around us so here's the blown up version of the black hole We've got this phase, like because of the dual system, they, they spin together like this. They come together and spin in together. Upper force and a lower force. Spin in together, bang, create the voltage. Say positive and phase. Or negative. So you've got this dual spin going on in the black hole, which bang has created the spark, the volt. There's the voltage. Male and female. The moon's the female out here in the in the electrons phase side, and this is this is full moon. This is the sun. The sun's light's going through the black hole. This is daytime out here. Daytime out here, full moon. Full moon's out further because it's down and out. Works like this: the sun, <coughs> all the planets on their tracks down and out down and out you're moving out see up and in and when, I, when I first discovered this a while back a few months back I walked out for a break turned on the TV YouTube and there's Santos Benassi and about five minutes later he was mentioning the down and out down and out but he's referring to cosmology and that you know zodiac sign all that sort of stuff and I knew exactly what he was talking about and it and it, it worked with this model exactly. So you can't debunk this. That's what the moon does, it winds around this cone. In the science video I just watched, they're talking they're showing you this cone idea. And they're showing you how the you get the elliptic curve round like this. So if you take a cone, run a flat strap around it without creaking it increasing it it'll wind down like this so you get this look here and this is what we get when we saw our celestial bodies when you see it so far right it's like our bodies it's all nature see look our arms only go to there what's behind us well it's night time you don't see behind there that's the other side that's the dual system so they showed you the strap and then you unwind the uh you unwind the, the cone and what have you got? A dead straight line. So then you come back to a dead straight line. You've got a dead straight flat earth. If 
you get the connect that, but it's not spherical. It came down to a flat earth. So we've got this attraction going on, the center of the vortex in the black hole. You get sucked in it, but on the horizon out here, it's a magnetic repulsion. So because we've all been created from in here, inertia, it's like the um, when you vortex water, there's a hollow spot in the middle. We're from out of there. We come out of there, and <laughs> it's just the way it is. And uh, so, in this area around here, it's got all this action. The mag magnetic attract, um, magnetic convergent point. We'll race back in here. This. <clears throat> Let's go back to the flat earth here. See, I've drawn it like this because here in our physical world we, we work with models like this, capacitors. Well, you've seen guys with their um, magnetic, magnetic um, magnets, circular magnets. The earth is just exactly the same. And they'll wrap copper coil around them, turn it into a toroidal capacitor. So you've already got this flux going on in the magnet, right? And then they'll, then they'll have another one in here and they'll start turning it. And a moving magnetic field gives us an EMF, an electromagnetic field that creates extra energy. Right? Well, this is the same as Earth, but we don't have the copper, copper windings, do we? This is all based all on solely on magnetic fields, and so if you take this, so you've got the center, there's, the, there's the center, that's uh, northern hemisphere, and that's the tropics. Then you've got the southern field, right? And these these are equal. Um, in which way equal? Well, grid the couple windings the same length. Whatever you've got wound in here will be the same as in here. Copper core both the same resonance. Isos mean equal. Tropos meaning to change, turn and change. And this is what it's doing. The earth's magnetic field goes down the tropics through the ground back up. That comes out and down to the ground back up. It's changing because on the bottom of earth is negative, on top is positive. So you've got that interaction of the magnetic fields through here. And the tropics is right there in the center, and um, and this is where all the magic happens. You get this extra, the, the trinity. It's a hit. The sec, well, it's, I call it magic happening between these two magnetic fields, and the ultimate period is at the equinoxes. This is to do with religion. That's all written. All this is in the Bible anyway. It's all in religion. It's all spelled out. Mythological stories, it all comes down to this one thing. But keeping religion aside. <coughs> so we take a slice through here and turn it around and look, we're looking at it through like this now. So there's there's the earth, atmosphere above earth. This is earth on this side. It's a dual system. Earth is the plane of inertia. It's come out of the black hole. And this is the magnetic field. So Earth is basically a capacitor. The magnetic field is coming out of the Antarctica. Come down, come to the tropics. Get pulled down through the Earth. Come back up here. They come, they pass out back past the sun. Some go into the sun to create the voltage. Other pass by, go to the droplets, come back down to the earth, come around this way. But in between, this, this is a magnetic field, moving magnetic field, always moving. But it comes down here, it creates this one in the here. The EMF basically, because we don't have copper. That's the EMF induced magnetic field. It comes up. And gets pulled back into the sun. So now you say you can got a positive and a neutral negative phase or whatever, bang, creating the sun. So once you've got the light created, the spark, you've got the magnetic field moving. 
once you've got the magnetic field moving and the sparks there, it just keeps feeding each other. The spark will feed the magnetic field, the magnetic field will feed the spark. Then you can disconnect, or well back in this case, you just disconnect the power supply, which got it going in the first place, and with the right resonating frequencies, it starts, it just works itself. That's how Earth works. So back here, we have to have a moving magnetic field. How do we get a moving magnetic field? So up until now, what we're doing now is we're, we're moving, something's moving. So this outer ring can spin, or the inner one will spin. To, to get the spark, get the spark, get the voltage, get the current flowing in the coils here. And it's always had, always had to be moving though. But if we get the right resonating frequency, we should get, we, we'll get to a point, I think we, oh no, we can do now. You can disconnect that power supply and it'll keep spinning by itself. And it gives you free energy. I've seen like, it's on YouTube, the Indian guy's got little motors and stuff and he's doing it. The spinning a magnetic field. So it can be done. He's shown it. But, um, <coughs> Yeah, so, well, that's, that's feeding itself. So you've got free energy there, haven't you? Let's do it on a bigger scale. But the idea is to get it going with... Well, it's always going to need something to get it going. Either it's pressure, getting the pressure up, bang, or whatever. But this is how it's going to work in the future. It's that induced magnetic field, and we've got it. Earth is doing it, if you understand the flat Earth model. Spinning ball doesn't work at all because the sun's 93 million miles away. <laughs> it's, you have to have the sun here, the whole system works like that. It works with magnets, electrical circuits, everything. Can't deny the flat Earth celestial navigation model. So, what is a compass point north? because it is the centre, centre of magnetic convergence. The strongest magnetic point of a circle is at the centre of a ring magnet, I should say, is the centre. It is a vortex, the point of convergence, magnetic convergence, just like the black hole is, how Earth has come from. So it's always going to be pointing north and south, your needle, isn't it? And this is getting pulled back into there because it's so strong. See, this is getting pulled back into there because it's, it's basically the opposite. So we, we know it as high pressure from the Arctics, high pressure from the Arctic. They rush to the tropics. Science has got this straight across, so they're thinking it's going all the way over there. But because they must be measuring this, this field here, they're trying to tell you it's negative and positive, or south and north. They know Earth is negative, up atmosphere is positive. It's north and south are rubbish, they're both the same. Positive. I'll put that on there actually. South. South. North. North. South, south, north, north. That's what it is. South, north, north, south, south, north, north, south. <coughs> they have to be. They're opposing fields. Opposing, and then you get the opposite coming in the middle. So they'll rush to the opposite. And that's how it works. They'll rush in. Because they're rushing in, and that's rushing out. But with just one system, north and south, it just rushes in, that's it. It's over and done with, gone. Earth's gone. No existence. This gets everything flowing. In case you see my other videos. Like this. See? It's moving that, moving the 
celestial bodies than that gap. That so the celestial bodies move around our Earth. This is, this is the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. And something else I've realised this there's no there's no north and south pole on these magnets. Only the faces. That's north and they're south. They're both north. Put them together. They're they're repelling. No matter which way you do it, it's repelling. Because they're sliced to, down the middle, they're south on this side, so we tip, flip it over and put south and north, then you've got the attraction all the way around, just like this. So there's no north and south here, just like there's no north and south here. It's south and south, north in the middle, if anything. But the bar magnet's different. See, we get this magnetic convergence in the centre here, right? You've got to pull in the dead centre, but on this horizon out here, it'll be divergence coming out. But in a, in a flat ring magnet like this, we get the... It's like this. It's more like this. You get the divergence coming out like this. And the suction down through the centre here. I'll show you. See, it's 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 jumping. It's it's sort of jumping down the centre here. It wants to race to each side. See the jump? It wants to avoid that centre. It's going all the way up there actually. All the way up. Each time I do this, there's something different. It's always different. It's a bit strange. I don't know if you can see that. That's what it's doing. So, what have we got here? So, back to the flat earth. So, you've got the two forces, positive and negative, coming together to create the spark. So, you've got the spin, black hole spin. Bolded to positive. And then you've got the full moon. Full moon's out here, behind the sun. This is the, we go as the breastplate, this part. So full moon's come down, come down away from the sun, down and out, full moon. And it goes back up, around to the other side, into, the, into its face, where the sunlight's, the sunlight's coming across the black hole. The full, over and drawn it here. The moon will be here, right in here. Neutral, you do not see it. It's phased out. It's a chemical reaction. It's not shadowed by anything, it's just phased right out. And you would have heard that Venus moves in the opposite direction. Well, no, it doesn't. Nothing moves in the opposite direction. The black hole spin is only one way, everything moves one way. Venus moving in the opposite direction refers to it phases in the opposite direction. I think it's the only planet that phases opposite to all the others. It will be neutral back here at night for a few days, but it's full and right in the front of the sun. But we can't see it unless you, uh, because of the glare of the sun. I mean, cameras, you know, you shade the sunlight, sun, Filters on your camera, you probably see. So that's that's full full Venus here, complete opposite. So what else we got? Gravitational forces merely centrifugal acceleration into a magnetic convergent convergent vortex. So we in creation are the opposite. So we're inverted. We're in the magnetic field out here. So gravity is, we're inside it, so it's pushing us back to the center of mass. We are the center of mass. No matter where we are on Earth, we are it, not Earth. Earth is a state of inertia. We always have to fall back to the state of inertia, back into the center of the black hole. So no matter where we are, we have to fall back to the Earth, no matter what it is. 
This is why uh, Einstein talks about relativity and um, a feather and a cannonball falling at the same speed. They're sort of right there because it's we're all falling back into that black hole. But like they say, it depends on the pressure and size and all this other stuff to go with it. But anyway, at the end of the day, we're all, all falling back to the we're all falling back to the state of inertia, and we we, we are the centre of mass. Every everything is a, this, its own centre of mass. It's come out of there. Everything is all around us. We are the centre of the universe. So you've got a south pole, south pole, not north pole. North pole's back here. The tropics, that's the opposite to these poles. Um, so you've got that repulsion pushing back. So this is the, this is the, the sun and the... Uh, the sun and the moon. You've got this magnetic field going on where they're facing off all the time, all the central bodies, they're all facing off as they go around. Yep, you can't you can't get in there. It's locked in it's locked in this other outer magnetic vortex and it sits there and turns, facing off each other. That's why they're discs. Discs. Facing off each other, always facing each other. If you cannot turn, it'll be, it'll be the end of us. Just like this as they turn around the black hole. All the sister bodies face to the black hole. We are looking outward from within the black hole. Everything is all around us.